So, Alcana, you were 14th today, um, yeah. coming back from the Olympic marathon trials. How did you feel about your performance? Uh, um, I would say, I mean, I started really good, and then um, it was getting really fast, and I was like, it's really hot. And then when I got to mile 20, I had like some arm strings. So I was trying to go, but I'm feeling strong, but I cannot go because every time I try to make to go, it, it's, I get cramps, like it pulls. Mm -hmm. So I just like said I need to finish, and I mean it was, I mean the weather was like the challenge, but yeah. other than that, it was it was okay. I think it was a little faster today because I think I remember when I ran 209, I was with a group and we ran like. 63, but today I was running by myself close to 62. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it got really fast and then the weather also was a challenge. But all in all, I, mean, I think I'm, I'm happy. It's okay. So long as I finish and I wanted to be top five, that was the goal. Yeah. But hey, it's a hard day sometimes. How did your body feel coming off the trials just 10 weeks ago? I, I think I'm, I was okay with because I had like really good training uh, after the trials. Um, I will look back what I did and I will see probably maybe I went like a little faster yeah. because I was feeling really good after the trials. Yeah. That might be another reason too. So maybe I should have taken like easy, don't go really fast in some workouts. But you know that's how. Whether, you know, maybe recovery also, maybe I do not recover enough, but yeah. it was a short time, so, but it's okay. I mean, to finish and run 2.12 in Boston, that's like a good time. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm just overall I'm happy about it. Do you think you went out too quickly today? Yeah, I, I think so, because I ran like, Tenga was 29, close to 28. Yeah. <laughs> that's my personal PP. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think it's, but you know, I thought like, okay, they are going fast and then they will slow down, but it kept going. <laughs> yeah. So everybody was destroyed, so. I don't know, yeah. Lemma hit halfway in 60-19. I mean, where, would you, did you see that or were you aware I, of I that? I saw that like he was gone and then uh, Talbi was following him. <laughs> and then I saw Talbi is already falling back. And I thought, okay, he might come back, but man, he was going. Yeah. Yeah, and he, and he was going. Like you, I think he was ready. Yeah. I, and you could tell from the beginning, like he just like gone. Yeah. Yeah. It, it also seemed like the tailwind um, it, helped it a few left. people. Did you feel the tailwind, or did it have an effect? It was on my face. <laughs> you felt it was on your face. Yeah. What point? What point? I, I of think course? from the beginning, I was like, where well, where is the tailwind? They were saying <laughs> we're gonna have it. It said there was a tailwind, like somebody it, I was talking I to CJ, he said he kind of thought, he felt it was a crosswind. Well, no, I, I, I thought like it was on my face all the time. Okay. Like, yeah. So. But then the, the heat, it started feeling warm, like yeah, the sun. I, yeah, it yeah. got like really warm, especially yeah. like after mile eight, mile nine, it was really getting really warm. Yeah. Yeah. So are you glad you came back to run Boston? I, I think I'm glad, like, you know, last year I missed Boston, so... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's a very tough course and it's challenging. So yeah. to finish, I mean, I don't like feel like it was really tough on heels, like always. But hey, I think we, I just had a marathon like in February and it's April now, like two months later. Yeah, so it's okay. And so your sponsorship situation, are you so you're with ASEX? Is that yeah? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how how long have you been with them? So uh, this is the 40, uh, like since uh, Eugene, Oregon. Oh, okay, so, since 2022. Yeah, yeah 2022. All right. And plans for the rest of the year? Will you take some time off or what's next for you? Yeah, I, I think I'm going to take a time off and start getting ready for next year. I don't know if I'm going to do a fall marathon. If not, uh, I'll just do like maybe shorter races and then try recover. So, and then be prepared. Because the goal is to be ready for the 2028 Olympics, that's my goal. Yeah. So I need to start, like, probably maybe look for a faster race next year. 
and try and see how fast I can go. And are you, are you still in the army? Is there any chance you might yeah, be deployed I'm, then? Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna stay in the army for 20 years. So okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah. I'll just have to plan myself and make sure, like, if I take a job, I stay in the States for the next three, four years. So yeah. I just, it's like two years. Every time you take an assignment, it's two years. So I'll try to make sure, like, I get an assignment to stay in the US so that I can really have a, especially like 2027, I need to have a good year, like not being deployed like last time. Yeah. So, and this is really good because if I go to Captain Career Course in July and then I finish in December and then my assignment will start January. So January 2025 to 26 and then to 27 okay and then i if i am switching and then i find something again from january to january and that will give me stability to make sure that um, i'm in states so i can be able to really prepare for the 2028 okay well thank you for the time o'connor thank nice you job. thank you